‫לראות דרבת הוא לא יודעים ‫חשבי שתתחיל אין די דייס ‫בין המצורים. ‫אנחנו נותנים את הכבוד ‫שתהיה את הכבוד של המחנך ‫עם הגמיניטי, הרב שמואל הכהן וייסטי, ‫שעושים את הכבוד של המחנך ‫עם הכבוד של הבית המקדש. ‫הרב שמואל וייסטי, בבקשה. In the Hilchus Beis Abchida, Edek Aleph, Halacha Test, the Rambam says like this, the Ein Boinin Boi, don't build in the Beis Hamikdash, in the Hechal, in the Azara, Eitz Boilet, Klaam. Wood that's sticking out, you don't build any wood into the Beis Hamikdash. Ela Eiba Avonim, Eiba Levenim Vesim. No wood was built into the walls of the Beis Hamikdash. It was the Lishka of the Cain Godel, of the Cain Godel was before Yom Kippur, was, was, uh, was made out of wood. And uh, it says in the Tzachtas Midas, one of the Lishkas, and the Lishkas eight. So how can the Ramam say that there's no, no wood in the Vesemek? You see clearly that there is wood in the, in the Lishkas eight of the Cain Godel. So some of Farshim, it's a Mishnah and other Mepharshim, the Ramam say that it wasn't really built out of wood. It was just Nikras B'Shem It was called the Lishka Sa'it, but it wasn't really made out of wood. Metam and Shein, different reasons they bring why it was, uh, why it was called Lishka Sa'it. So they need to say this because Numerous reasons. Uh, I'm saying, I'm okay, I explain all the reasons why it's not a good, uh, why I can't say that it was only called Lishka's eight. And the Mashmoyist of Lishka's eight is the Pashtus of the Lishka was made out of wood. And not to confuse with the Lishka so eight him. Lishka so eight him was one of the rooms in the Mesimintas that was that they would keep all the wood over there for the uh, Karbanas. This is a, not to confuse Lishka so eight him and Lishka's eight is two different things. Lishka's eight was the room of the Cain God. That time, the Rambam himself brings in this halach it says ein boinin eight boilet club. It's boilet. Farshim and Advaz and other Farshim and the Rambam say that you're allowed to build with the wood. It says only that the wood shouldn't be visible. And what's the mark of the Rambam? Gemara in Rosh which the Gemara says Shlima Melach built chotzer apnimis. Shlisha Turi Gazis, the Tor Krusas Arazim. Gemara says that Shlema Mel, he built three rows of stone and one row of wood. Three rows of stone and one row of wood. And the Gemara says that Shaki Bibinyani, Saidi Besida, he covered it, it was dipped into the building and it was smeared over with Sid and with plaster, whatever it is, and you couldn't notice, the wood wasn't noticeable. So, Amela, you could say the same thing over here that when Ramam says, Aim Benim by eight, Boilet. It means that the wood of the Lishka Sa'it of the King God wasn't boiled, wasn't visible, but it was built out of wood and it was covered over with plaster or whatever it was, and, and they couldn't see it. The question is that this is only is only explaining why it was mutter to build it out of wood. But why the Khatkhila didn't make it out of wood? All the other Lishka is to be similar to built out of stone, and this Lishka was built out of wood. Why? So Tesis Yantiv explains and says a very interesting, very interesting um, uh, thought. And he says that the, it's brought down in Gemara Yuma that the way the Lishkois are built in the base of Mikdash is a special way that it came to Yom Kippur, the King God will have to run around from place to place. Not all the things that he did of the Avod of Yom Kippur are in one spot. And he kept on running around from place to place. It's often the Dharim of Dharim, it's often. And the reason is, Rashi says this means, you shouldn't get too much of a Balgaiva. He has to know, he has to work, he has to run around. It was a very, a, big, a lot of work. So, that is that maybe that the, 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 in order that, he says, this is what the Tesis Yandu says. The, the Lishka was built out of wood. It wasn't built out of stone. It wasn't, it wasn't so permanent. It wasn't such a fancy place. It was built out of, out of, out of uh, wood. The, 
question is that in order actually to zoom die to Allah, not because of that, you have to be mahadr to build dafka out of something that you have a khshad that maybe you're not allowed to build out of wood because you know, I'm bringing by eight. And like uh, the Rebbe says, it's, it's uh, like says the uh, uh, on the on the uh, on the uh, for him the 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 Sanhedrin or the people that were made a shvu with the king Gadol that maybe he, he's not serious. Persian and they would they would later they would go and cry that they were Chazar Shalom Cheshet. They suspected the king Gadol of, of being Chazar Shalom, not to, if he was a tzduki or whatever it was. So to say to say that that should be mahadir to do something that was not. That it was not that it was a chshad, it's a shvet. And besides, there were so many other reasons. So the zuch died to Allah. That uh, we, we said really that the, the lishka was built in a way that he had to run around. And also the seven days that Frosh's Zion Yomim, that the King Gadol, that the King Gadol spent before Yom Kippur was also shlei yehi died to shlei libei zachal. So because of that, was it necessary as a ganze yard, a whole year, the lishka had to be made out of wood because. On Yom Kippur, it should be shleit to zuch da'ati Allah. Shvet to zagin. The Rebbe brings from his father, Rav Levi Yitzchak. Rav Levi Yitzchak says in the Aris and Masat, as Midas, and he says like this. These are the words of Rav Levi Yitzchak. Lishkas ke'in gadol, nikras lishkas ha'itz, rak kol zman she'akeinim g'deilim ha'ikshenim ha'tzadikim she'erichu yamim k'mei shem and atzad. It was called lishkas ha'itz, in the time that the Kainim Gedalim were Shadim with Sadiqim and they were Mairich Yomim like Shimon Atzadik. Masha'in Kain in the times after Shimon Atzadik, he changed the name of the Lishka Sa'ait to Lishkas Parhadrin. What's Lishkas Parhadrin? Parhadrin means Mamunim. Rashi says in the Gemara and Yuma when it says Lishkas Parhadrin, Rashi is very interesting. Every Kain, the Kainim Gedalim would come every year. There would be a new Kain Gadol after Yom Kippur. And every Kain Gadol went and renovated the room. They smashed down the room and they rebuilt it again according to their, uh, their taste. Every Kain Gadol uh, comes a new president in the White House right away. They have to start moving things around and changing things, changing the furniture. So here the Kain Gadol would come into the Lishkas Berhadrin and every year he would renovate the whole place. Wouldn't leave it. And so they were like, so the whole room was like Parhadrin. Parhadrin is called Mamunim of the king. Every year the king would, would send away his, uh, his officers and get, make new, uh, appoint new people to his uh, different uh, political positions. So this, they changed the name from Nishkas Ha'it to Nishkas Parhadrin. And the Yisrael goes on and says that Eitz shows on Arichas Yomim. It says in Yeshaya, Kimi Eitz Yimei Amin. And therefore, when the Kainim Gedelim Mukshayim, it was Meirik Yamin, and it was called Lishkas Eight to, to remind them to, 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 to tell of their, uh, of their righteousness, their tzitzis. And there, and the King God was shy to Lishkas Yamin. Lishkas Yamin is in of, is is in of Yamin, and Eirik Yamin Yamino. That's Chesed. The King God was Chesed and Zeva. Like we find by the King God, the King God was was uh, it says that um, that Ritzia uh, had to go to the Ari Mikla that most King God. And it says brought down why because Ritzeh Mekatsa Yodav Shal Adam Ken Gadol Ma'irich Yom of Shal Adam Ein Badin She Ein Mishik Mekatsa Yom of Shal Adam Lefim Mishik Ma'irich Al Shal Adam And Meila the 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 Ritzeh had to stand on the Mikvat until at Mishik Ken Gadol because he was Mekatsa Yodav Shal Adam and the Ken Gadol is Ma'irich Al Shal Adam So Meila this we see the Ken Gadol is connected with the Rishas Yom and the Shleim says the Rebbe that not only was it called Lishkas Eitz to be Meramis. On the Indian of the King God, to show that this is the whole Indian of the King God, even the King God, that's it wasn't my Chama, whatever reason it was. But this is the Indian of the King God that's connected with the Rikhas Yomim. And therefore, the Lishkas 8 was built with eights in order to bring out the Techen of the King God. Sure. The previous in Yomim, the Rebbe says, we have to explain that if so, if, the, if there was a whole Indian that Shadaf could be made out of eights, especially in the times of Shimon Atzadik, so why was it covered over? Why was it says, so why did they have to cover it over? Why couldn't it be eights built? Why couldn't you see the woods? Why can't you see the woods? So even though you're going to say that everything in the base of Mikdash, everything had to be covered over the wood. But from this vegan, there has to be a, a, the Teich and the Indian of the Rishkas eights had to be in a way that it had to be eights, but the eights had to be Mokhusa. 
Mainly, you want to say in the times of after Shimon Atzadik, in the times when the Kenim Gedin were not Mairich Yomim. So, therefore, the Pail Mamish, the Arichas Yom of the Kenim Gadlu was Mechusa. He didn't see it in a Ifen Gadlu because the Kenim Gadlu a lot of times didn't last more than after Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur. So, mainly, the wood had to become. But why in the times of the, when the Tzadikim, when the Kenim Gedin were Tzadikim and Ksadim, why did it have to be? Covered over the wood in the Lishkas eight, why couldn't it be visible? So, so the, the explanation is that so what do we say that we change the name of the Lishka to Lishkas Parhadrin because every year the Kangala would change. So it means that after Shimon al there was no more Kanim Gedinim Sadiq, and there was many other Kanim Gedinim al Sadiq. That brings the, that. Uh, Yechen King Gondol was patient on him, 80 years. Yishmol ben Pavi was uh, 10 years. And others, there's other lists of Kainim. Not every single Kain God lasted only for a year. Many Kain God lasted for longer. So why was it, uh, why was it given such a name? So then I've explained in another Sikha, Menegei Kairach, Menegei Kevart, Menegei the Rosh Yamatris that all went to, 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 to bring Kteras, even though they knew that they're going to die. So why did they do it? What was it? Rashi says, Mara, Kedach, Bekeach, Bekeach, Kedach was a smart man. Why did Mara the Shnuz that? Kedach saw that he's coming out of Shmuel Anavi and whatever. All the other Messiah, Messiah, Mechemish, and Rashi said, why did they go and, and bring Tedis? They knew they're not going to survive. Anybody would be Kedach. Why them? So, so the Rebbe connects this with the Indian of the Kenim Gedalim, the second Vesim Mikdash. And even though they knew that they were not Sadiqim, and even though they had to buy the, 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 the position of Cain Gadol, the chukra to bring Tedas one time was so great, they, they were Mavata on the Indian of Arichas Yom because they knew that soft for soft, they were going to pass away, but they have a chance to bring Tedas. And the same applies also to the Rosh Hashanah Drais of uh, Rosh Hashanah uh, by, by, by Kedach. They wanted to have this chance of, bring, of, of becoming close to the Shechina, even though they knew it would cost them their life. So, so, uh, so therefore, they called this Lishka, Lishka's Parhadrin, even when there was other Kainim Gedalim that la- lasted longer, we madgish the, how precious and how special it was going into the Kainim Gedalim. Even for one time, even if it would end up that maybe they're going to pass away. So this was when error that even a Kainim Gedalim didn't pass away and lasted over past him Kippur for many other years. This should, and he was a Koshan at Sadiq. This should, should bring out by him the the the, the yoker and how precious it is even to go to the basic this one time that you should know that going into one time you know, the the god might end up getting switched and you should treat it with special respect and special special uh, special uh, uh, preparations so therefore they called the Palahedrin to awaken by the king god this time. but the rabbi we know by the rabbi everything everything has to be to be malamat chus on you so the Rebbe is not happy with this beer and says, how could Sof Sof, the name Parhedrin, means that it was a, 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 a Mamuna, someone was appointed that gets switched every year, every 12 months. So how do you take a room in the base of Mikdash and call it in an Indian built Rotsu, in something which is not a nice thing, that that the room represents the fact that the Kainim Gedalim changed the room every year, and they changed every year, and the room changed every year, etc., etc. It has to be that in the word parhedrin, there has to be a, 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 has to be a, 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 hidden in the word, also an union of schus and a malyusa mitzad kedusha for you. So there has to be something good that that uh, that uh, the year by the kainim gedolim and the kshenim matzadikim was also called lishkas parhedrin later on in the in the time of the sagmisim. So the explanation is like this. The Avedis Kengal Yemekipurim is, was the Avedis of Tshuva. What's the difference of Tshuva and, and Avedis and Tzadikim? By Tzadikim, it's the Indian of Yechul, Mechayel, Al Choyel, they go from level to level in their Avedis. Ain't them a Nukhra. It's like going up every time to a higher level, but the level they're going up is Mechayel, Al Choyel. From the Koyach of this Avedis, they go to a higher Avedis, and they go to a higher Avedis, and so forth. Mashinki in Tshuva, Tshuva is no levels. It's an Indian of a Messias Chadasha, a complete new existence that didn't exist before. Yeah. 
The Rambam says, I'm not the same person, it changed. And so therefore it's not that he's going from level to level. It's a whole little complete, a complete um, change from before. This was accomplished through the King Gadol in the Kedesh HaKadoshim, and this Kayach was given to every Yid to change himself in Akatzeh Akatzeh, they should come and see his Kadosh. And, and therefore, that brings the Marshal having the basic Mikdash, the Indian that the King, the King Gadol, the clothes that he wore on the, on the Yom Kippur were never used again. The Inich the Sham, the Lamed, that, uh, that uh, uh, it says, um, they were buried in the place that they took them off, and they were never used again. Why shouldn't they be used again? <laughs> the clothes of the King Gadol, the, the clothes, clothes the whole year round, with special clothes, beautiful clothes. And here, the clothes in the Kippur, uh, these clothes never can be used again. Why not? Why couldn't use them again? No, the shot is, like we said, that because every time the King Gadol went in the King Gadoshim, he became a new Metzias. Completely different. Shalei ba'erach. There was the way it was the previous year. Not only in the high, it, it, it went up to a high level in Gedusha, but there was Amish, a whole new mitzvah. And therefore, because all new mitzvahs, also his clothes had to be new. And the covenant and the safaris in the previous year, had to, it couldn't be the same. This year had to be complete new, complete new clothes. And that is the Indian of Parhedrin the Malusa. The Gashmi is Takia. There was many kainim gedelim that were ma'erach yom. There were many kainim gedelim that were tzadikim and kshirim and all of them. But Ruchnius. Every 12 years, there had to be, every 12 months, there had to be a complete Ariba Gang, a complete switchover and a changeover to a complete new level. And when he went to the Kedush Dashim, was a new Matthias, and that is not the same King Gala went in last year. So that's Parhedrin, that every year the King Gala was completely switched, and that brought out the chaos of Chuba Bayidin that is becoming a Matthias Khatash. This Teichen of Parhedrin. It Ba'atzim was always, not just in the second base of Mikdash, it was always in, or even the first base of Mikdash, and even in the beginning of the Ba'at Shani, when it was Shemina Tzadik, and it was uh, uh, Shemina Tzadik. So this Lishka of the, of the, the Kain Gadol was in, had, we find, had two names. We find it's called, it's, it's called Lishka Sa'id, and it's called Lishka Sa'adrin. Lishka Sa'id, we said, it's Madame is on the Indian of the Kain Gadol, which is the Indian of Chesed, the Indian of Avut Tzadikim, and Parhadrin, the name that shows on the Vedas, and and these two names are both brought down in in Mishnayos, in Masechtes Midas, when the Rambam, when the, when 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 Rabbi Noah Kaddish discusses the uh, Beis Hamikdash, there there it's called Lishkas Eitz, and Lishkas Parhadrin is discussed in Masechtes Yuma. And the, these two Masechtes Midas and Yuma bring out the Teichen of Avedis at Tzadikim and Avedis at Tshuva. Sechtes Midas is the way the Beis Hamikdash was built at the beginning of Ba'is Sheni when they were Tzadikim. This is um, this is uh, this is the this is the bottom of Rabbi Yitzchak also. Sechtes Midas Ma'ide Ech Nivna Ba'is Sheni B'Tchila. B'Tchila Ba'is Sheni Ode Kedem Tzadikim. Ashink in Yuma Yuma is the end of Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is connected with Tshuva. So in Sechtes Midas it was called the whole time it had both both in Yanim. But when they were in the when they were in the beginning of Ayis Sheni, when they were in the in the matzav of Tzadikim, it was known as Lishkas Eitz. Later, when there was the matzav of necessary to have more opinion of Chuba, and there was some kainim that were not so perfect, so it was called Parhedrin to bring out the rates of Chuba, even if there was a, a kain that was in of uh, the Indian of um, of Zitzan. So, so Bezay, one more nakuda here, one more point. So why did it have to be covered over? Why did it, well, going back to what we said before? Why did the the wood of the of the lishkas eight have to be covered? Why couldn't it be uh, visible? Because on Yom Kippur, that's when the king all used this room. They used it on Yom Kippur, and and the chiddush of the very uh, of, of Yom Kippur is the union of tshuva, and not the union of erichas yomim, but fakad coming from tzias chadasha, and. And uh, and therefore the 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 eight had to be covered over it, not to be madgish the Indian of Avedis Atzadikim, but for Kat to be madgish the Indian of Avedis Atshuva. The, the name Parhedrin only came into being once there were a few Kainim Gedolim that were not Tzadikim. They were and they they they, they uh, that reflected and represented the general the general the general generation. 
the, the, the whole generation was in the Indian of, uh, in the Indian that needed in the Tshuva, particularly with the women, and therefore they, it was called the Tshuva. When the Deir was not a Deir of Tzadikim, the Deir was a Deir that needed Tshuva, and that was the way of the King of Tshuva. So therefore that brought out the Indian of becoming Mitzvah Chadasha, so then it was given the name of our head. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>